said on that here uh, right at the start uh, in what a lot of people would consider to be round 13 of their matchup last time out. Lots of tension in there. You can see it in the look of their eyes. A little hesitant. Feels like I'm in there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and uh, you know, you, you've had uh, British middleweights uh, in the past that, that have achieved great success. Uh, Alan Minter, uh, I guess, would be uh, one of the most notable guys uh, that uh, competed in the division. Uh, and good to be with you here at the arena in Birmingham. And Birmingham's own uh, Tommy Lankford uh, getting in there and uh, trying to uh, quit himself after uh, what many people thought what was a fight that uh, obviously by the split decision could have gone either way. Likewise, Jeff. Good. Good, great to be with you here. Amazing atmosphere. But yeah, these guys are these guys are going at it already. Seems to be no love lost. Uh, that bad blood uh, looks like it was legitimate. It's manifesting itself right here in the ring in the first minute uh, of this round. Uh, while it may have been a feeling out process, uh, it, it was no soft touch that these guys were applying to these punches. Uh, and Lankford uh, establishing a jab and punching in combinations and starting to score. Yeah, and these fight these fighters could hear the crowd. They could feel the crowd. Crowds on both their sides, so that they're, they're, they're in there put a, to put a show. You know, they got their fans trying to get each other out of there. Langford with a, a reach advantage, nice right hand slipped in there from uh, Jason Walborn. Uh, very clever counter punch, and uh, Langford comes on now and uh, throws a flurry of punches to try and uh, keep Walborn off of him. Langford, a tall guy, but not 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 using his reach very much. He's trying to he's trying to stay outside, but. Wellborn just won't let him. I think Wellborn knows that uh, he might have hurt Langford just a little bit with that one shot. A real sweet right hand on the inside. And he's pressing the action now coming forward. Uh, maybe a little bit wily and undisciplined, but still with a lot of confidence. A little sloppy here and there, but there's there 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 shouldn't be a feeling out because they already fought each other, but they're still they, they still gotta feel each other out. Give each other a couple blows here and there and see how they react to it. Frankfurt trying to take advantage of the uh, reach edge that he has, uh, however slight it may be. And uh, as he said, he's a couple of inches taller than Wellborn. Uh, and, and lands a good right hand uh, as a counter as Wellborn tries to attack against the ropes. 40 seconds to go. Round number one, scheduled 12 rounder. The British middleweight championship at stake and perhaps much more as uh, one of these fighters is going to propel himself uh, into a much larger picture. This fight, fight a little ugly, but... The Trying to do what they got to do. Oh, right hand slipped in. And Looks down. like a knockdown. Down goes uh, Langford. Uh, looked like he yeah. might have slipped there, but he got hit with a right hand. Right on the button. He's hurt. Ten seconds he's to hurt. go. Uh, he's hurt. Round number one. He, he's wobbling. He's uh, wobbling. Referee gives him a look. Uh, he may uh, be able to oh. survive here with just seconds to go in round number one. Oh. But a huge development here in the opening round of this fight. Oh, so For Tommy Langford. Here's round number two, scheduled for 12. British middleweight championship at stake. Tommy Langford uh, with the uh, striped trunks, the uh, taller of the two fighters. Uh, Walborn coming off that late round knockdown uh, in the uh, white trunks uh, with the uh, solid black trim. They got the crowd in this now. Well, you've been knocked down, uh, uh, man, uh, in a fight, uh, and, and you have to come back and establish yourself. Well, what. Uh, well, what's the process? Uh, do you first have to clear out the cobwebs, or are you just try to uh, up the tempo of your own attack? Personally, I've never been knocked down in a pro fight. Uh, knocked down in an amateur fight, yeah, but I came back and won. But yeah, get, getting knocked down, you gotta you gotta see where you are. If you, if you have your legs under you, you know you could continue to control the fight. That's fine. But if you don't, you might need a hold, clinch, yeah, fight inside, just just to get your legs back. A couple of sweet he, right hands. Uh, he, just get hit. he just got hit by another right hand. Established uh, the pace in this fight here in round number one. Uh, got the knockdown for Walborn. He's coming off the split decision win. Uh, Langford gets away with a low blow there with the left hand as he tries to scramble his way back into this thing. Uh, he did uh, uptick the tempo uh, a little bit, the pace that he's fighting at. Uh, and we'll see if that's enough to get him back into this thing here as uh, we're about halfway through round number two. I think Langford's definitely controlling the pace, but... Right now, Welburn, he looks he, he looks like he's patient. He's looking for he's looking for that shot again. He has that hungry look. Like he wants to land that right hand. Uh, real sweet right hand on the inside early in round one. Uh, that shook up uh, Langford a little bit. Uh, and, and then late in the round, he was able to drop him uh, off a uh, left hook right hand to the uh, face combination that uh, caught Langford right on the chin and put him on the canvas. It was, that was a good solid punch, but now he needs to start winning this round and forget about that last round because right now Langford's he's just throwing more punches, picking him apart. Langford oh, also, there, another, uh, guy another, right another right hand, hand uh, backs up uh, 
and exactly buckles he... uh, Lankford uh, a little bit here as these two contend uh, once again for the British middleweight championship. You mentioned that neither guy really uh, was noted for his power. Uh, Lankford uh, only with six KOs in 22 fights. And so uh, he, he's going to have to really uh, muster up a big arsenal to keep Wellborn away from him and uh, keep him from pressing on and trying to land that right hand again. I don't know that uh, Wellborn has been able to really follow up that, that big edge that he had in uh, round number one. He started out strongly here in his second round, but uh, Langford doing a good job of, of sort of using offense as defense uh, in this round. And again, uh, throwing sense. a lot of punches. Volume of punches clearly in Langford's favor. Clearly, yes. And he might have even uh, quitted himself well enough to uh, take this second round, but we'll get your opinion on that. As uh, there are 10 seconds to go here in round number two for this British middleweight title. And uh, scheduled for 12 rounds, uh, Wellborn and Langford. Uh, looks like it's uh, developing into a pretty good scrap. Yeah. Langford, Langford pretty won this round fairly. Pretty illustrious resume as we head into round number three. I'm in Albiani here at uh, the arena in Birmingham. Uh, Birmingham's own Tommy Langford uh, in the striped trunks uh, came back in round number two after being on the deck. In the first round, we'll see if Jason Wellborn can get his attack uh, on target again here in Ooh. round number three. Big right hand right by Langford. And uh, he shakes up Wellborn for the first time in this fight. A good right hand. I don't think you heard him, but good right hand. Wellborn uh, appears to have a pretty oh. solid chin uh, for a guy that uh, just weathered that storm. But uh, the volume of punches and the pace uh, clearly being uh, dictated here by uh, Tommy Langford, who uh, has rebounded very well from that early knockdown. He catches a right hand there. Good uh, catches another right hand on the chin there. You like the way that uh, Wellborn throws his oh, right hand and he gets right behind hand. another one and uh, lands it straight right. on the chin. Came, came back, hit, hit him with four. He's doing the right thing. He's on a search and destroy mission, it looks <laughs> like in there. He's very much focused on landing some bombs as uh, Langford tries to chip away and get himself uh, back into this fight. They're going at it. I mean, it got oh, here in uh, round number three. And this is for the British Middleweight Championship, a rematch uh, of what was a beauty, and uh, we're seeing some similar things from the uh, first fight. These guys went the distance, a split decision went to Walborn. They put him right back in there, and uh, you can see why the fans wanted to make this match again. I, I think most likely this will go to the distance again, but <laughs> according to round one, you know, anything could happen. Langford uh, with combinations, uh, having some success here, and... We get the occasional bomb, uh, the right hand from Jason Wilbur. Oh, There's another one. He again. staggers uh, Langford, and Langford goes down. It's all, it's all over. That it's, was a tremendous blow on the inside. It's, it's over. He's not getting up. Doesn't look like it. He may get up, yeah, he's but he's gonna not going to be he, in great shape to continue. That, that's no. for sure. A minute to go. If he, he's does, to, if he does, this man this going to have to weather the storm here. Wellborn winging uh, haymakers wow. now. And a wobbly spaghetti leg. Wow. Langford may be on his way out of here. The ref taking a close look at it. Wellborn continues to pound away with the right hand. Little resistance being offered by Langford, who uh, is wobbly. Oh. And uh, here we are in round number three. We'll see if Walborn can finish it. Wow. <laughs> Great action. That, oh. Body shot shakes him up. And uh, you'd have to think that Langford is not going to survive this. 40 seconds to go here in round number three. The crowd is on its feet. These two guys, no love lost for each other. Oh. But right now, I don't even know if Langford knows who he's in the ring with. Nah, his feet ain't under him. But you know what? He's he's digging deep. He's digging real deep. This is this is beautiful to see. Wow. More haymakers from Walborn as he tries to finish Langford things right here in round now. number three. Langford giving it everything he has, but uh, may be seeing stars uh, as we speak. 15 seconds to go in this third round. Uh, Wellborn covering up, looking to load up on another shot. He might be tiring a little bit. Yeah, he, he, he might have thrown uh, too much. Lands another he's right trying, and left trying, combination. Trying he's get throwing bombs. Oh, Bazooka's in there. And a wobbly leg, Langford. Uh, he's going to be lucky to survive here. He might need a parachute oh. out of round. A couple of 10 8 rounds for Walborn. And uh, we, we gave uh, Langford uh, the second round of this fight, uh, surprisingly so, is he was able to uh, get, get kind of a technical edge on Walborn. But Walborn's been throwing bombs uh, and he's been throwing punches from left field. And he's been landing. I think Lanford just needs to watch out for that big right hand because that's all he keeps getting hit with, really. And every time he gets hit with it, he's getting dropped. Again, Wellburn's looking for that. 
not easy to clear your head. I mean, uh, you get hit with a big shot. Uh, not easy to continue with whatever game plan A was. Uh, you might find yourself uh, not only getting past that, but forget about the rest of the alphabet too. A lot of it ain't e a lot of it ain't easy. You know, it's not e easy to be in there. But sometimes you you just got to find a way. Hopefully, your team helps you out find that way and and, and just dig deep, keep fighting, and that's what he's doing. Tommy's in there. He, he's throwing punches back. He's not. There's no quitting him. Jason Walborn been uh, telling the story of this fight uh, with that big right hand. And uh, we saw this after the uh, knockdown in round number one where Langford was able to bounce back and uh, kind of pack away at things and get himself at least straightened out. It does look like he's got his legs uh, a little more solidly underneath him right now. Very much uh, spaghetti leg in round number three. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even in round number three, I, I would say Tommy threw the more punches, threw more punches, but it just effectiveness is, <laughs> is in Welburn's favor right now. And, if he, get, he keeps getting knock sounds like that, you know, it's a pro boxing. Frankford uh, coming up, uh, throwing uh, more punches in this round, but uh, Walburn appears to be uh, determined just to uh, load up on one of those right hands. He's landed several good ones. We've seen Langford on the deck in round number one and again in round number three, and the finish to round number three wasn't encouraging. Good uppercut there by Walker. And those knockdowns are exhausting. In a, in a fight, knockdowns get you tired. Even though you're on your butt getting a little break, you're they're messing with your equilibrium. You're, when you're getting up, you're, you're huffing and puffing. You don't understand why. So it has, it has something to do with it. But right now, Tommy, he's throwing more punches still. You know, he doesn't even look like he got knocked down yet. Awkward uh, <laughs> off-balance shots uh, up until that point in the round. That was a good exchange. And uh, I thought uh, Langford uh, won that flurry as uh, Walborn appears to be uh, just sustaining his time here a little bit, looking to load up and land another bomb. And he's just doing that peekaboo defense. He needs to throw a little, a lot more punches. Not a little more, a lot more punches. Is it a mistake for uh, Walborn to maybe let Langford work his way back into this fight? 30 seconds to go round number four. As you said, Ahmed, uh, you can make a very solid case here uh, for Langford winning this round. Yeah, big mistake because once you give a fighter all your power in the first couple rounds, then he knows what you got. You know, then then he knows, oh, okay, he hits this hard. All right, I could, I could, I could handle it. So. Obviously, Tommy can't handle it <laughs> that much, but he's he's trying. He's trying to hang in there, and he, and eventually he'll warm up and and get caught and and not go down. A lot of momentum swings so far in his fight. Uh, the bigger momentum obviously has belonged to Walborn with the two knockdowns, but uh, Tommy impact, but just, just by enough. volume of punches and uh, controlling the action overall, uh, a ten round round in the last one. On our scorecards, anyway, uh, the Ahmed El Biali official scorecard. Uh, and uh, still uh, leaves Wellborn with a two-point lead based on the two knockouts. This is round five, scheduled for 12. British uh, middleweight championship at stake. If familiarity breeds contempt, these guys should hate each other. They've been in the ring together now. Uh, yeah, like this do. is their 17th round. Wellborn now yeah. loading up again. It's going and, at uh, it now. Yeah, the ebb and flow of this fight uh, continues to reverse and uh, off balance. Langford, I think, stepped on the shoe. So of, uh, well they born definitely fight like, they don't like each other. But he was getting hit at the time. I think they have a lot of respect for each other at this they, point. It does seem like that is mounting. I think most fighters have respect for each other, and uh, they definitely do, but bad blood's definitely there. That one two uh, with the right hand finishing by uh, Wellborn has been the difference in this fight. Langford uh, extremely game, uh, and just to even be in there at this point, uh, you have to give him a lot of credit. But uh, we're seeing where the damage is being done in this mount because uh, Wellborn's right hand is just too strong. Yeah, Tom, Langford. Tommy's a fine, fine example of hard and courage right now, determination. Well, it's not impossible with 12 rounds to work with. Uh, we, we've seen it many times where a uh, fighter is dominated through six. It's just that uh, two knockdowns. Uh, an awful lot of a burden to overcome here, and it looks like he's heading in that direction yeah. again as Wellborn uh, is starting to get the better of the action. Looks like Wellborn's, you know, that tide is rolling up on Tommy. Yeah, and uh, Langford may be uh, at the point where uh, he, he just doesn't have the uh, strength to, to stay uh, in uh, technical soundness, and uh, that, that's going to hurt him because he's going to have to be very fundamentally sound if he's going to beat a guy like this. Pretty soon the steam, too, because he's throwing a lot more punches. You know, and uh, Wellborn might have the second second win at the second uh, second half of the fight. Minute to go here in uh, round number five, scheduled 12 rounder. Uh, another flurry by Tommy Langford as he tries to work his way oh, back into this right thing. hand. Right hand uh, lands by Wellborn, and that's been his uh, money punch all night long as he's floored uh, Tommy Langford a couple of times, once in round one, and then again in round three. 
Another right hand. Well, well born, much more active this round. And Langford is uh, reacting to those bombs. Uh, looks like there's blood also flowing from the uh, left eye. We'll have to check that uh, of Tommy Langford. Uh, looks to me uh, hard to see from this angle, but looks to me like uh, he has been cut. And yes, it's uh, starting to uh, really uh, add up to a lot of blood there from the right hand. The left uh, eye. That's a spot that uh, has had a bullseye on it. It's yeah. been batting practice for Wellborn uh, to that one spot uh, and uh, now opened up a pretty good gash. So Langford, uh, does that uh, enhance and amplify the, uh, I don't know, you call it desperation, but he has to realize that, uh, you know, he, he's going to have to come up with something big if he's going to turn his. All right, uh, here we go. Uh, the uh, well, Wellborn, uh, I think, got back in control in that round. What do you think of it? I think so, too. All right, here we go. Round number six, scheduled for 12, uh, reaching towards the midway point of this fight. Uh, been a little bit uh, of ebb and flow back and forth, but it's mostly been uh, Jason Wellborn, and the story of this fight has been that right hand, uh, both on the inside and uh, when winging it a little bit wide. See if uh, Langford can rally and uh, find a way to keep Walborn off of him. Uh, when he does, uh, he's had his moments, and as we said, probably he's won a couple of rounds. I think I think Walborn would have some success if, if he finishes with a with a left hook right after that right hand, because he's he's right now he's just throwing a one two one two one two or throwing a little more punches, something will land. Doesn't really have menacing power, uh, Langford. Uh, he doesn't. He needs to land on the chin. <laughs> well, they they both don't, according to box um, the the stats too, but. But Welburn already proved that he, he has enough. Yeah, he's had him on the deck. Langford's been down a couple of times. Round number one, round number three. Cut in round number five. So uh, all of the uh, important categories statistically uh, certainly going in favor of Wellborn. Uh, while uh, Langford uh, really showing a game effort here in round number six uh, in an effort to try and uh, turn this thing around. Lots of heart. This is uh, for the British Middleweight Championship. And a rematch uh, of what was uh, a very popular fight uh, just uh, a short while ago uh, took place in September, and uh, or rather in uh, May, and here they are back in the ring again, uh, same two guys uh, in early September. I think if Lang Langford could execute the game plan, he'll be ahead. But for right now, it's just it just he's unable to execute because of the power. Langford uh, may be getting the better of it here in uh, round number six. A minute to go. Uh, he's been on the deck twice cut uh, and it looks like they did a very good job of controlling that cut in, in the corner an important aspect of this game because the blood was flowing freely in round number five but Wellborn hasn't been able to really work his offense in this round uh, I, I don't know if he's uh, tactically uh, taken uh, a bit of uh, a rest here in uh, round number six but uh, now goes to the body and lands a double right hand uh, to Langford who uh, has come back and uh, brought himself back into this round at least yeah for He's back in it. He's, he's boxing again, throwing punches and combinations, getting out the way. 30 he's seconds moving. to go, yeah, round number six, and uh, all of a sudden Langford is looking alive again. I think uh, uh, as long as Langford's not getting hit with that short right hand, he, he'll be all right. Wolverine's just not active enough. Yes, and uh, we'll see if uh, they went the distance before, and we'll see if Wolverine uh, wears down a little bit. Uh, he was throwing heavy leather uh, early in this fight. Oh. Langford uh, gets caught again uh, with a right hand, and uh, Walborn uh, looks to follow up. I, I don't know that Langford's uh, punches uh, are, are getting... But it's uh, uh, interesting, because uh, we gave uh, Langford that last round, so uh, he he's won a, a couple of rounds, three rounds in this fight, and yet uh, is trailing on the scorecards. Yeah, it's just the knockdowns proof to be the difference right now. Yeah, big uh, advantage there, those 10-8 rounds, and they were significant uh, knockdowns for uh, Wellborn, who uh, has uh, been in there every other round. Uh, he's been overwhelming in three of the rounds and uh, underwhelming, I guess, in the other three. is uh, Looks like he, he's kind of biding his time here and trying to get another big shot on. Yeah, Wellborn just looking for that right hand. You can see it in his eye. Look at another right hand. Another right, right hand. By Wellborn, but, but, uh, but Langford, Langford comes back and races that. Yeah, he comes back with four punches, comes back to the body. Pushing off with the elbow, he gets a low blow in there uh, that the referee has concealed from. Throws a right hand to the head and uh, starting to mount a little bit of an attack. I can see that Langford clearly wants this. He, he, he's in there, he wants this. He could have been out a long time ago. Starting to gather some momentum uh, in his Langford. Uh, we'll see if uh, Wellborn is just uh, taking his time or if uh, he really has lost some of his energy in this fight. Good jabs, good, 
Good hook connected, too. Nice little uh, uppercut on the inside by Walborn. Uh, he's getting some subtle stuff in, but not the volume that he was, and certainly not with the impact that he was when he put Langford on the canvas a couple of times earlier in his fight. Sooner or later, Walborn's going to get a little irritated, too, by, by Langford's punches and movement. He's a, Langford's a little awkward, too, you know. He punches a couple of jabs there. His punches come in from different angles. Another jab, uh, and a jab starting to become an effective weapon for uh, Langford. Uh, is it enough to get him? It's about time. He should use that jab. Look at the, the height. You know, he has the height. He has the reach. He needs to use that jab, establish that jab. You don't know if uh, it's uh, heavy enough to get him back into this fight on the uh, scorecards, but uh, not that far out of it. Uh, maybe two points down uh, through six rounds of this fight. I see him. I mean, so far, I see him winning this round. He's, he's more active, and he's landing the more effective shots, too. Walburn has slowed his pace significantly uh, since uh, the first three rounds uh, where he scored the two knockdowns. Uh, the cut being uh, extremely well controlled by the uh, corner of Lankford uh, as he was bleeding profusely, perhaps from a clash of heads, but uh, could have easily been from that barrage of right hands that he tasted uh, in the early stages of this fight. Yeah, Walburn could be uh, getting a little overconfident because of those right hands that landed, but that's a problem with power punchers sometimes. Even though he's not a power puncher, he's probably used to, you know, not throwing that many punches, but he needs to start searching for a lot more punches than that right hand, just how he did, just how he missed right there. Yeah, missed, uh, ended up off balance. Langford unable to take advantage of it. Uh, 15 seconds to go here. Round number seven uh, of a scheduled 12-rounder, and the plot may be thickening and uh, changing a little bit it's here. It's turning, it is. Could be the old uh, Henry twist of fate as uh, Langford's starting to come on now in this middleweight championship contest. Fine example of not giving up. It's a very cruel business. Uh, here we go, round number eight of a scheduled 12 rounder. This is a rematch of a fight that took place in May. Bad blood was spilled in that fight. More blood was spilled here. But right now it's uh, Tommy Langford who appeared to be uh, out of it in round number three. Uh, now bouncing back in the corner, telling Walborn, you have to pick Ooh, it up. Oh, I think you heard him with a body shot. Another body shot and a barrage of body shots now coming. Uh, coming uh, in bunches uh, are the uh, shots from Langford uh, as uh, Walborn tries to back him up now into the center of the ring with that left hand. Langford definitely found his mojo. He, he's in it right now. He's, he's, he's having fun in there. Doesn't appear to have uh, that much power, uh, and uh, I don't know that he has one punch knockout power, as we talked about, but... Uh, now coming on and landing Wait, the more significant well, blows. Body. Yeah, another body shot. But remember, Jeff, these are grown men. No matter, no matter what power is, they they got some power. They, they're men. They're they're boxers. They know how to punch. The complexion of this fight has changed uh, significantly in the last couple of rounds, where Langford Ooh, uh, appeared to be on his way to a defeat. He's only lost two times uh, previously from 22 fights. Wellborn uh, was one of those defeats the last time out, but uh, right now it's. It's all Tommy Langford. Yeah, Wellborn doesn't look good right now. Appears to have just hit a wall, uh, which uh, it, it, happens, it can it, happen. It happens to the best of us. Yeah, and uh, it's probably not a comfortable feeling. Uh, we see some welts now developing yeah. underneath uh, both eyes oh. uh, of uh, Wellborn. Good right hand by Wellborn, but yeah, his, his, face is, his face now is taken up to lose his department. Langford, this would be a miraculous comeback if he could peel himself off the yeah. mat uh, after those first three rounds. Come back and win this fight uh, seemed impossible to conceive of as uh, we hit the fifth round. But uh, Wellborn uh, is looking more and more like uh, he needs to find a stool. Yeah. Lights are uh, thickening also. Tommy, it's Tom, happening quickly. Tommy picking him apart right now. Yeah, the good, swelling good under the ice. Right. Yes, uh, the uppercut by uh, Lankford uh, scores again, and all of a sudden the sting is not there. No. I, I would say Tommy got some sting right, right now. Yeah. Uh, Wellborn uh, the shots. was firing uh, away uh, with reckless abandon uh, early in the fight and uh, was taking uh, extreme advantage of what power edge he held. But now it's uh, been all Langford the last couple of rounds. Uh, great job of working his way back in here. Wait, great way to establish the jab. He's using that jab perfectly. 30 seconds to go here in round number eight. Good body shot. Birmingham zone. Tommy Langford trying to pull off uh, what appeared to be uh, a Chris Algieri impossible comeback uh, in this fight. And uh, doing a good job right now of controlling the pace. He's dictating all of the action as uh, Walmart finally lands a left hand but takes three in exchange. Yeah, this, is, this is great to see. Man got knocked down twice. He, he could be, he, he'll be up ahead pretty soon. Ten seconds to go here in uh, round number eight. Good movement, good movement. Getting out the way to punches.
That was uh, Matthew Macklin, a uh, contender and a guy who should know what this is all about, uh, as we've seen uh, a severe turnaround here. Uh, Macklin, like uh, we have, uh, Ahmed Albiali, uh, gave uh, Langford the last three rounds, and that puts him uh, right back into this thing uh, on the scorecards at 75 apiece. Yeah, Matthew Macklin was spot on with that description of the fight. Spot on. We don't know what the uh, officials are seeing there. Uh, and, of course, Langford uh, hails from Birmingham, so might have a little home court advantage. Uh, very, very serious swelling now starting to uh, mount uh, underneath the left eye of Jason Walborn, who was well in control of his fight through the first three rounds. I think this is a pretty even matchup. I don't think we'll, we're going to see a, a crazy uh, <laughs> number at the end of this for the scorecard. But right now, Langford's doing everything correctly. He's getting out the way of the punches, landing. Hitting and not getting hit, you know, the number one rule of boxing. In the round three, I wouldn't have given a uh, dime for the chances of uh, Tommy Langford to win this thing. Uh, looked like uh, they needed a white flag in the corner there, and uh, I thought the ref might have even been close to stopping it after that second knockdown. Uh, since that time, it's been mostly uh, Langford, and uh, he's won, uh, as Macklin suggested, uh, on our scar for the last three rounds. So, uh, all with the jab and technique, as it appears, Walborn is wearing down badly in the late stages of this fight. But Wellborn's still dangerous, you know, he, she, he showed us he can knock him down with with one, one, one punch, so right now, Langford needs to be really careful not to let all this all these round, rounds go to waste. Jab has been a particularly effective oh, weapon uh, for Tommy right Langford. Hand. He gets oh. caught with a body shot, though, a left, Just, and the wow. cut's starting to open up uh, above the eye of Langford. Oh, uh, all hurt. of a sudden, it's Wellborn coming on right now. That's, that's the problem right now with Langford. He's just a little chinny right now. Blood dripping from the left eye. That might have come from a clash of heads, but uh, it was a ballistic series of rights also. That, well, that might have done the damage. Lankford has been pecking away, though, uh, all throughout the last three, four rounds and trying to use that same tactic to stay alive again. All in all, these guys are putting on a hell of a show. Less than a minute to go here in round number nine. This is a rematch of a 12-round split decision that went to Wellborn in May. The British middleweight championship is at stake, and perhaps a lot more uh, on that silver platter. Uh, that awaits the winner of this fight. Uh, Going to be tough to decide as Langford now bouncing back. And uh, this is one of those rounds where each guy has had his moments. Wellborn looks a little gassed out right now. Wellborn uh, has looked Holden. tired for the last couple of rounds, but uh, he rallied there briefly and had that huge flurry where you thought maybe he was going to take uh, Langford out again. And a right hand yeah, again. Just, <laughs> he right just had that button. right hand. That's been his weapon all night long. Uh, you see, both guys are, are going to know that they were in a fight uh, after this one is over. It's not going to be tough to judge what their profession is. Ten seconds to go. Round number nine. Langford rallying now, trying to bounce off and shake off that right hand that was landed just a moment ago by Walbo. Rocket soccer, you know, they're going at it. It's tough. The pace continues to uh, be a little... have to get that round of Langford. Yes. So uh, we have Langford now uh, winning four in a row. This is round number 10, 12 rounds. I think we're going to need all of them uh, to decipher uh, who, who the winner and who the better fighter is uh, in this one. It was all Jason Wellborn. He's in the uh, white trunks uh, with the solid white stripe on the side. The uh, pinstripe trunks belong to uh, Birmingham's own uh, Tommy Langford. And uh, it's been a wild one uh, all the way from the uh, opening moments. Great pace uh, being set here, too, by two Minowitz. Yeah, the, the, their faces show it all. They're going, they're going to war. Wellborn searching once again for one of those right hands. He, he scored both inside and outside with those. And uh, Tommy Langford trying to keep him off him. And uh, score points with the jab uh, has also had his moments punching in combinations. Wellborn breathing really heavy, though. Huffing and puffing out, out of his mouth. Hard to believe uh, as you look at uh, round number 10 that it was Langford uh, was on the canvas. Round number one took a heavy shot uh, towards the end of the round. And then in round number three, it looked like he was finished, that the towel might come in from the corner. But uh, they got him going again, and he's managed to acquit himself very well, at least on the scorecards here, as he uh, tries to hang in against the uh, power and relentless power attack of uh, Wellborn. They believe in their guy, and, and now all he needs to do, he needs to do his part. He, he needs to defend himself, stay safe, and, and don't get connected with that right hand, you know, or that left hook, because he's, he's kind of couple, but... He just needs to keep his chin down. Yeah, get away with uh, this. Yeah, Algeri, uh, that was one of the fights uh, I remember against a guy named Ruslan Provodnikov. Yeah, Tough sure. hitting guy from uh, Russia. I must have trained in Siberia uh, just by uh, running in the ice. And uh, <laughs> I was always uh, bringing it, uh, you know, very heavy handed uh, puncher also. 
And uh, even though he got annihilated in the first uh, eight or nine rounds, Algeria hung in there. They gave him the decision. Yeah, yeah. It might have been unjust, but uh, he got it. So sometimes there's a lot to be said for just hanging in there. And two good body shots unloaded by Langford, who is uh, getting the best of it here in round number 10 a minute to go. Of course, a uh, boxing match is a it's, a it's a short marathon. It's not a sprint. So you you gotta you gotta pace yourself. You gotta think about you know all 12 rounds, all 10 rounds, and and be ready for that. You can't you can't blow it all up. Out. You know, in five rounds. Yeah, stamina appears to be the enemy of uh, Walborn right now, as uh, he's uh, not throwing near the volume of punches that he did, and because of that, Langford is able to get off first, and has been able to uh, keep him from uh, having any kind of impact with that right hand. Yeah, two chopping over hands right there by Langford. You see the blood again uh, flowing from the left eye. All that cut. Good head movement. Hasn't by Langford, been that though. dangerous, yeah, and uh, it, they've kept it pretty well contained. Trying, he's trying. He's looking for that right hand again. Suddenly, these right hands are, are, are short, though, and uh, not nearly as uh, effective as they were early in the fight. Although no, there's not in that exchange. Yeah, and there's not as much steam behind them. You know, Wilburn's he's exhausted. He's tired. So, you know, it's, it's scientifically, he's not going to have as much power behind it. Lands a left hand to the body as he tries. What do you need from your corner in that spot if you're uh, Wilburn? You know, uh, letting I it slip away. I, I think that they're. Oh, Welburn, they, they need to tell him to start throwing punches and punches in combination, you know. He can't just keep looking at the guy looking for a right hand. He, he needs to go to the body, come back up top, and four or five punches at a time. Three, four or five punches. Round 11, scheduled 12 rounder. Uh, you can see uh, oh, you thought that this was an easy game. Just look underneath the eyes of Jason Welborn, who for the most part was winning this fight, finds himself perhaps on the short end of the pencil right now and uh, tries to put Langford on the end of those left hands. But both these guys certainly aren't out of it. One punch to change the fight. We've already seen that. Good pace here, and uh, both of them in uh, round number 11. They've been able to maintain a uh, high level of uh, punching volume uh, all throughout the fight. Wellborn looked like he might have tired a little bit, but he's throwing the heavier uh, yeah. leather of the two. Tommy looks like he's tiring a little bit too now, but it's, it's the 11th round. It's no surprise. They're digging in deep, and someone's got to come up, come out on top. You love the relentless approach. Uh, just uh, keep punching approach. Of Tommy Langford, uh, you can see why he's one of the more uh, appreciated uh, boxers in, in England. And these guys know their stuff in England. They're uh, highly critical, but they're also highly appreciated of uh, guys that give this kind of an effort. No, for sure. But you know, Tommy right now he needs to settle down. Good right hand there. Yeah, sport. very good uppercut. I just <laughs> well, I just, I just I just feel like he he might throw his punt, he might throw himself out before the twelfth round. We're starting to see some of that bad blood boil over uh, once again. Yeah, they're, here they're in trying round to number knock 11. Out. They're uh, <laughs> staging a little bit of showmanship here. Wellman, uh, Wellborn got tagged and just looked back and smiled. Oh, said, that's all you got, that's, a big that's, right hand there. That's what I don't want to see by Langford. That's the attention of Langford. Uh, leaves himself open and uh, gets hit with a big right hand, a hammer. Minute to go here, round number 11. Wellborn's trying to come back. He's looking for it. He's trying. He's digging deep for this. He's just covering up, covering up. I think uh, Langford oh, could good, hit him in the face well with a sledgehammer, and I, yeah. I don't know that it would matter so much to Wellborn, who uh, is determined to hang in there and maybe land that, that one haymaker that gets him home. Well, Langford's sledgehammer might be a, made out of cardboard. Good left hand that time by Wellborn. Uh, Wellborn subtly is uh, chopping away. He is. He is. He's trying to round. come back. He's trying to come back. He's trying to dig in. Oh, oh right Bubba hand cut. right on the button there. How is Langford still standing? He <laughs> took that and came forward. Tremendous heart being shown by both guys both here. Guys. I mean, uh, unbelievable action. Round 11 uh, of what's been a fight that's been paced like this right from the opening bell. No wonder they put this fight on this card. Tremendous as uh, Mir Khan and Vargas going to have a lot to live up to. We've seen some uh, real beauty so far uh, here tonight in Birmingham. Uh, they'll get the job done. Well, uh, Spaghetti Langford uh, is Langford as oh. we come to the end of this uh, 11th round. Wellborn uh, having some Tremendous uh, right hands land to uh, Langford, and yet being out punched in this uh, round. A tough one to score once it again. It is very tough. I, I would say he was out punched, but I would give it to Wellborn for some reason. I think he landed the more effective blow. Your round number 12. There's the respect. These two guys don't like each other. They've been at it before. This is their 24th round in the last few months, and I think this round is going to decide. See what happens here. Both standing in the middle of the ring. Langford goes back to his game. Uh, throws a three-punch combination. Open things up. Gets tagged with a left Ooh, hand. Oh, and a right. Hurt. And another left He's hand. And Wellborn's all hurt. over him. 
This could be it. This the referee looking uh, to see if he's going to stop it. Uh, it would be a shame to have to take it away like this from Langford, who is uh, wobbly legged. And uh, Langford just looks really hurt right now. Yeah, he does. His uh, face says it all. Got to be seeing stars. Wellborn, does he have enough in him wow, to finish this what thing? A guy. Another Both sledgehammer guys. right hand. True warriors right here. <laughs> Langford giving it everything that he has. It's all on the table here. The British Middleweight Championship. 2.20 to go in the 12th and final round of what has been just a sensational action fight right from the opening bell. Langford now trying to come back and uh, throwing punches. Wow, they may be pity but he gets tagged again by wow. right Langford, what a fight. nothing but guts and class here. And uh, Guile, he gets pushed in oh, the canvas. Yes. And that was probably unnecessary for uh, Wellborn as uh, he had this guy seeming like he was going out. And he gave him time. Uh, you just look at the face of Tommy Langford and you see Warrior written all over. It's, it's boxing. You know, they're trying to use every advantage they could. Wrestling, everything. It's a fight. At the end of the day, it's a fight. Langford looks ready to go. And, and yet, uh, here he is. Fighting he's coming punches. back. Coming back. Wow. Coming back again, uh, Wellborn throws another right hand. Uh, he seems to be scoring with just about everyone that he fires. And yet, uh, can he muster up the strength? Uh, a couple of more shots, a minute and a half to go. And he might have himself uh, the retention of this British middleweight championship. And, and certainly is going to be uh, a guy that's going to be a crowd pleaser uh, no matter who he fights. Yeah, both these guys put everything on the line. Minute to go in round oh, number 12. 12 and final up. round. This thing's still up for grabs, uh, Amanda Obiali. Great middleweight fight. Huge haymaker landed by Wellborn. Tommy just looks a little more exhausted. Langford's been weathering the storm right oh, from the opening bell. He comes back, though. He comes back, <laughs> and uh, Wellborn is loving it. <laughs> he pushes him off, and we'll see if he can finish him off. Minute to go. Still, uh, this fight wide open. Good body shot by Wellborn. Uh, where is he getting the strength to fire these punches off here? Relate stages of round number 12. Referee breaks him. He seldom had to do that throughout this fight. Not a lot of clinching. We had uh, Langford on the canvas twice. He's also been cut. He went on a uh, scoring spree there uh, in the uh, middle to late rounds, but now finds himself in a dogfight again here. 30 seconds to go. Round number 12. Moments. Wellborn. These moments, these moments are very special to these fighters. You know, Langford they're never going to forget this. Pure guts. He's throwing punches, uh, and uh, Wellborn trying to finish him off. Looked like he had him. He wobbles back. Langford, seconds. can he survive it? Countdown is on. Ten seconds to go. Ladies and gentlemen, before we go to the scorecards, let's get a nice round of applause out there for both of these warriors. After 12 rounds of action here in Birmingham, we go to the judges' scorecards. John Latham, 114-113, Tommy Langford. Stephen Gray, 114-113, Jason Wellborn. Marcus McDonald scored this contest 115 to 114 for your winner by split decision. And still, for this middleweight champion, Jason Wellborn!